Hello everyone. I'm very sad, angry, frustrated because my parrot screams, bites, is afraid of me are messages I receive from parrot people daily. So I'm going to make a couple of talks for you about parrot behavior or rather problem behavior to give you some thoughts to ponder and actions to take to make things better. Today's the first one of these talks and before we start, if you are not yet in my Facebook group Soul Based Parrot Training and Relationship Building, the place to be to start building a glorious relationship with your parrots. If you're not in that group, I suggest that you pop in the Facebook search box Soul Based Parrot Training and join us. So hop on in so you can join the discussion, grab awesome free content and get started. If you are someone who wants a glorious relationship with your parrots, be sure to get your butt into our group Soul Based Parrot Training. Okay, where were we? Um, I'm very sad, angry, frustrated because my parrot screams, bites, is afraid of me, are messages I receive from parrot people daily. Surprisingly, many of you think that you are the exception and that having problems with your parrots is something to be ashamed of. And it makes sense to think that. On social media, people are apt to present themselves in the best possible light. So they post cute snuggle pictures, happy pictures, and you think everyone has a beautiful relationship with their parrots except for you. Consequently, you struggle alone. However, the reality is to have parrots with absolutely no issues is the exception rather than the rule. I'm obviously not talking here about people who have had a parrot for one or two months or even a year. I'm talking about parents who are in it for the long haul, who are living with parrots that have reached sexual maturity, which is often the point in time where the real problems begin. So if you're one of them, take heart. You are not alone, not by a long shot. There's nothing to be shamed about and there's plenty you can do to make things better. Rule number one, shared pain is half the pain. It helps to talk about it. And if you don't want to get attacked or belittled about it, or you feel uncomfortable to share unpleasant things, that's okay. For one thing, my soul-based parrots training provides a safe and sacred place to share such things, even dark thoughts, which we all have at some time or another, because if you keep it inside, it will fester and get worse. Another great way to deal with it is journaling. Write down all your pain, your sorrows, your worries, so you can release them. Write and write and write and write until it's all out in the open and you feel better. Remember, it's the feeling that counts, okay? Why is this so important? Getting out all that negative stuff is the first step to releasing it and moving into a better relationship with your parents. As long as all those negative thoughts are simmering inside, it is really difficult to make the mental and emotional shift to change things. Also, keeping everything bottled up leads to overwhelm. And when you are overwhelmed, it is almost impossible to take action. You don't know where to start, what to do, and often you're altogether paralyzed. You'd rather crawl into a corner, suck on your thumb, than to step into your own power and do something about it. Bringing it all out in the open also helps you realize what the pain points really are, to assess their relative importance and to decide where to begin to affect change. So my homework for you for today, yeah, there's homework, sorry. <laughs> so my homework for you for today is to share all the bad stuff about living with your parrots in the comments. And remember, if you feel uncomfortable about sharing this publicly, please come into my soul-based parrot training group for safe and sacred space to share and talk about this, okay? See you soon and have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>